challenging Hendrix. Steven, we're um we're playing Quest Rogue first, right? Quest Rogue is our best matchup because we're gonna play uh, our best matchup and our second best matchup and then our uh, our worst one and try to get up to two out, right? Because Token Druid's gonna be our worst. So yes. Who did they ban? Uh, they banned out our warlock. We have Rogue, uh, uh, Quest Rogue, Death Rattle Hunter, and Token Druid right now. Yeah, Quest Rogue is best all around. Okay, great. So we're gonna jam that first. Then we're gonna try to get a win with Cube Hunter, get up to two zero, and then. GM games with uh, Token Druid and hope that we get a matchup that's not even locked because. Uh, uh, okay. So he's playing even locked then. Even lock, keep in mind. Mossy Horror, Skulking Geist. One Thank Titan you. Soul. Bone Mare. Wonderful. Uh, Nick, we're keeping the Shadow Step and chucking both shit and mimic pods, correct? Hold on, let me. Uh, yes. Chuck Mimic Pods, you're keeping Shadow Steps. Sounds good. Alright, decent hand. Go with novice? Uh, it's too soon to call. It depends on how the early game goes. Okay, sounds good. You played, like, a lot of this matchup, so I trust. Yeah. Okay, as long as they don't go, uh... Drake into Giant or Giant into Drake, we should be good. We don't really care. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is this looking like an engineer sort of game now? Because we got the two. Or no? I mean, yeah, but it, it, we had the two engineers the other game too. And it, it, sometimes the game plan just changes. Yeah. So I would. <laughs> okay. Look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. We start off with one, right? We can do one now. Play one novice now. And just leave it. Don't even shadow step it. Yeah. Because we have the other one. Yeah. And like, and if they don't clear it, then we save ourselves the shadow step for free. Uh, is there any good targets for Phantom Knives other than an empty board? Because I don't think he runs many one health minions where it'll actually be relevant. No, uh, shadow step turn three is viable. But wait for the draw. Yeah. Uh, dagger up turn three is also not yeah. bad. Is is fan on an empty board bad? No, it's not bad. Okay. But uh, it just depends what's in our hand. Cards at this point, we got we got all the bounces we could want. The, well, the problem is when you when you go the the novice engineer route to the quest. You end up drawing, yeah. You end up drawing up to ten, and then you can sometimes accidentally burn the quest. Burn the quest. So, right. um, something that that I think I like is keeping is getting a engineer down to zero mana via shadow step, and then uh, going off with it with the vanish on turn six in case they develop a strong board. Yeah, I think we will probably complete the quest before turn six, but okay, okay just the bulk of them. Interesting. Okay, yeah. So this is. Um, what do you think about, um, I don't think we want to dagger up this turn. We have way better options than investing 60% of our mana into. I agree. Although, well, the other, well, the other idea is you dagger up. You drop the deck hand, the deck hand and you yeah, and you clear it. The... Okay. But I don't know yeah, if that's the right line. That feels like a lot of resources to invest into a two four. Yeah, I think you just drop the fan and ice. Okay. Pass. Okay, we got the board. Okay. Seems reasonable. So So we're at one play, and theoretically not taking hand size into account, we can go novice, that's two, shadow step, novice, that's three, shadow step, novice, that's four, and then we would need one more bounce. Yep. And then if, yeah, if we so use... We could, so at turn six at the latest, we can do it. Uh, 
How bad is it to dagger deckhand deckhand right here? It's pretty bad, but... Um... Yeah, because we're not advancing our own quest. Maybe, um... Hmm. How does novice shadow step dagger and then deckhand off one of the minions? That seem reasonable, right? We we do yep. a little bit of both. We clear off a little bit of the board and then yeah, that sounds okay. Board. And then we have the zero mana so we can go off with the uh, yep the shadow step plan or the vanish plan if we need it. Yep. All right, and then let's see if we get off the card first, just in case. All right, that's cool. That'll give us defensive options going into next turn. So I'm shadow stepping that. I okay, think you just. I think. Wait, I don't know if you. Wait, dude. What's up? I think we. Coin vanish next turn. Okay, yeah, seems solid. Because then we can burn cards from their hand too. We don't care too much about the, the two damage from the homunculus, anyways. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Because it's unlikely that he drops more than two cards, right? Oh yeah. Vanish so this is really this good is thing. good for us, yeah. That's really good for us. So he's gonna get his ooze back, but who cares if he uses our weapon again? Right. So. So, we're playing this first. Try, well, I mean, you can just drop the you can drop the coin first. It doesn't matter. Right. Yeah. yeah. All right. So that that bounce it. Cool. We got the shard if he plays a giant. Great. Mike kills off some stuff too. Uh, we're not hitting face. We don't want to hit face until we've got our quest up. Yeah. Awesome. Oh yeah, that's a good burn. That, dude. That's, that's really nice. good. That's so sick. Um, so yeah, we have quest complete next turn too. Hopefully, we can draw into a prep. Uh, can we do quest complete and put down a shard? I assume we can, right? Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, you can. You totally can. But I don't know. I don't know if that's actually the play. I think the um. Oh wait, we have shadow step too. We could do it. No, yeah, play nov. I think you play novice. You shadow step it, and you don't complete quest this turn. Okay, are we still glacialing though? Yeah, you d you're definitely glacial. We would, we would rather that we go off and have uh, quest and proactive plays in the same turn than. than yes. Sort of oh wait, wait, wait! This is the line right here. You play giggling and glacial, and then next turn you novice. Uh, Finish seven, and play quest. Move into seven so we can novice shadow step quest. Yep. And then uh, even more if we end up getting a prep. Yeah. For the record, that is his only dread infernal. Okay. Thanks, Stephen. They run double defile. Yes. Okay. Stephen, <laughs> obviously. Um, they. This is not a defile board. Yeah, no. It won't clear annoy towns. He, he can't trade to make a two. That's okay. okay. That's fine. Okay. So, we just go quest now, right? Uh, yeah. We're gonna take right. 8 face. Yep. That's okay. Oh, look at that prep. That is cute. Uh, do, there's no world in which we don't prep that out, right? Um, yeah, you do, you prep it, and then you... Uh, put down some deckhands to kill the Infernal? Uh, no, I think you, I think you just killed the Mossy, actually. Why? Because we want, we have a bunch of uh, bounce in our hand, so we can go for like a one turn KO. Okay. Once yeah, we get Valera out. Because let's see, we have. I'm just investing. Um, I'm investing both seconds into this, correct? Yep. Okay. I don't think this is. A he can't. He her. can't. He still can't defile. So. Yeah. That's why it's. That's why it's a safe play to go both into the mossy. Okay. If he trade hellfires, he clears off his own board. 
and spends four mana on doing so. Yeah. He can't really afford to go much lower, because we'll kill him. Uh, how do you feel about uh, giggling youthful next turn, or is it okay to be greedy and then wait for a Valera and then start doing infinite things? I th think you... Um, I don't know. Or do we just go on the kill plan, right, and just start bouncing the deck hands? Well, we have... Assuming let's see. Well, yeah, let's see what he does. It'll, it'll depend. If they don't clear our board, then we go uh, Stone Tusk Boar plus all of our bounces is 12 damage. Yeah. And then we have 16, 20, 24 damage. We have Lethal on board. Yeah. If they do clear our board, then I think we try to just populate the board with the Giggling and Youthful it back, and then we'll still be able to do the Infinite. Yeah. Okay. I think that's that's sort of the same situation that you were describing. Um, um both deck hands, uh, Giggling Inventor, Youthful the Giggling Inventor, face with the Novice. Seem reasonable. Because we still have the boar if we want to go on the, the bounce kill plan. Let's see what, how much damage we have. We have 16 damage. We can put him to 6 health. Uh, no, yeah, I think we do. I think we do the original plan. Okay, this one. The double trade, um... And then, useful. yep. And then engineer face. Yep. Okay. And he's still staring down the 16 damage plus our chargers. There goes the ceiling. That's cute. We're gonna have a really good turn nine. Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't even need. Or um, turn ten, sorry. Yeah, we don't even need uh, screenshots because um. I have deck tracker on. I just forgot, I forgot about that. End the stream. End the stream, for sure. Okay, what are the plays that he does that actually gives him a chance in this game? Like Bone Mare or something? I don't know. If he Bone Mares, he goes to one. <laughs> hmm. Hellfire? <laughs> Wait, oh, I think he's just... He, I think he just knows. He's yeah, just accepted yeah, defeat at this point. He hasn't got that much, really. We just Valera here, right? There's no... Wait, I think we have lethal. Uh, okay. So... Um... We have eight... Oh, we don't quite have lethal. Yeah, because... Four we'll off. Away that we, um... That we don't trade two four fours into the four six. I actually don't know if we play Valera. I mean, we can. Um, oh, we can actually, no. Wait. And just see what we get. Right. I th I think you yeah prep prep mimic pod first. Yeah. Because we can <laughs> easily draw lethal here. Oh, that's so gross. Do you want to just um? Do you want to just keep mimic potting? Then? Um, because we're not in too much danger, and we can um, or actually, I would rather have the shadow reflection to just go ham with him pod next turn, honestly. Yeah. And then we can we can still push forward to face. Yeah. Just that, that. No. Yeah. Well, actually, do we want to clear board? Oh, he um, can attack us next turn. He can't attack us next turn. Do we want to not activate his hook triggers? Yes or no? Do we not do we, attack his face? Nah, attack his face. Attack his face. We're playing kill plan. We're good. I mean, we're getting down to where we can draw vanishes, like with a, or draw a vanish with a hundred percent chance. So, because we, we can, I mean, we can we can draw four cards a turn with double mimic pods. Okay. Where's our Sonya? Uh, I think we clear board Sonya and just uh. Boars, yeah. Cool. And then I can mimic pot at the end of it, right? Well, you youthful brewmaster the Sonya back. For sure. Actually, yeah, 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 you do, you do. 
Wait, oh, you, wait, you traded wrong. <laughs> you traded wrong. Yeah, 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 do the, play the, play the. Yeah, but that means we, that we lose our Sonya, but it's okay. Do we? I don't think we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, but we won't have a second. We could have Brewmastered the Sonya back and then Brewmastered the Brewmaster back. Oh, okay. So that we would have been able to do the infinite with the giggling yeah. manner. You play more quests. No, 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 no. Oh, God. What did you, what? Well, now we can't do our infinite with giggling. What? Okay. Mm. Just send her, and that's okay. I think we still kill him. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I think it'll be okay in the long run, but... <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. You, you play more quest drug than me. I may just have you pilot the quest drug games at some point. Okay. Drop drop Sonya. Drop Sonya again. Actually, Sonya drop. Again. you can drop double Sonya. And then, and then yeah. trade this boar in, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then drop a vicious scale hide. Into the, um, yeah, because it'll give us two. And then hit face with two boars. Uh, I would trade off his two, three, just because. Uh, one scale hide and one boar? How's that sound? Yep. Alright. <laughs> Sorry about the, the order thing. Yeah, it's okay. That's stupid. <laughs> he needs to deal with the double Sonya. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> they're in so much trouble. Oh, oh god, that's rough. Again, dude. You gotta watch out. Um. Okay, so let's see. There's no way. Oh no, we have. Yeah, we have lethal. Yeah, dude. No, that's that's so lethal. It's only eight over. <laughs> oh, actually, it's more than that. There's a game. <laughs> Dude, I love his reaction to that. He just stares at the two Sanyas and just silently just a single guy. <laughs> Alright, so we're queuing, uh, what do you call it? We're queuing Hunter now. Yes, dude. Yes, Hunter is better. <laughs> that was a fun game. Has, like, yeah, no, that was funny. Even Warlock has, like, actual game versus, um, Quest Road, too. Like, I was playing a match in a tournament where I just got like Drake on four and just beat him in the face with it until he died. If you guys want to watch the replay, you can just uh, go hop on the stream. <laughs> Five minute delay. Okay. <laughs> uh, honestly, like, in that game, we literally could have just like utterly thrown the game and probably still won. Like I like I guarantee you we could have just left like naked eagling inventors down, like done nothing about it and still would have won. Okay, so reverse is even locked here. And our mulligan is Stalker, Egg. I think we keep everything but the cube, right? Like in case he comes up with a giant or a drake. Yeah. There's exactly one spell breaker. Awesome. Thank you, Steven. Oh, we got the spider bombs. This is a fantastic opening hand. Uh, something that I'm looking at right now is coin devil sore egg into terror scale stalker because he's going to be trying to tap the first two or three turns and isn't going to be able to contest it. I like it. And the earliest thing that he can do is a hellfire or, an up or a spell stone on four. So he's not going to get it out. Hellfire is good for us, honestly. Yeah. He greets me. Took the fat sculpt on that guy. Just in case he runs. <laughs> Skull of the Minari. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. Steven, can I get a check on that one? He in fact does not. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, there's our cube. It's a good hand. Yeah, this is a really nuts hand. So was our. Um, Sun Fury things. Yeah, both of our starting hands have been. Yeah. Awesome. 
If he starts doing like sun for your protector things to protect his cute little face, we're just gonna start cubing spider bombs and making him sad because he's only got one spell breaker. There's also only one sun fury. A plated beetle. But I have a plus five. Come on. <laughs> um how do we feel about uh Tracking first, see what we get. Um, if that doesn't hit anything awesome, uh, Hunter's Mark, the giant, and then throw the terror scale into it. Yep. All right. I'm just hitting face, right? Like we don't care if he gets the creepers off. He's he's dead anyways. Okay, tracking. Um. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think we keep the play dead, right? Because we've got the cube in hand. Yes. And we have a spider bomb if we need to deal with other giants. So push that in. Bump, zero power, face. And what we really want is a minion on our board on turn six that we can throw our little cube combo into and make him concede. Although if we don't get one, then I would take a um, spider bomb. Seems like a hellfire turn. I hope so. Yeah, give us a five five. Well, if he if he gets us a five five, are we playing dead? Are we cubing the the five five? No, we should still play around spellbreaker because we we still have better targets. No, 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 no. I don't mean play the. I don't mean play the cube this turn. I'm saying like, are we gonna cube the five five? We should always keep the 5-5, five five, dude. Okay. Five. Yeah, yeah. Um, here, and then we can drop out the ooze, right? Yeah, I would say drop the ooze and, and hero power. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> Lethal on board. No piggy. Yeah, we got going pretty fast this game. This this match is playing out how I expected, right? We're theoretically going to go up 2-0 and then jam token during games until yeah. he makes a mistake. So, I mean, the only win that he's getting off is even luck versus token druid, right? And he's not doing it versus with control warrior. And he's certainly not doing it with Malagos druid. <laughs> How do you feel about a uh, bomb terror scale stalker? I like it. I mean, because uh, we we want to be able to hit face before we cube our. I mean, if we do that, if and it hits, we have lethal. Yeah. I mean, not this turn, but no, we don't have lethal. But all right, fifty-fifty. Of course, why wouldn't it? <laughs> 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 this is so gross, bro. <laughs> it really is pretty grimy. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much had the ideal draw both games. Yeah. And I mean, granted, these are like 60% favorables for us anyways, but... I mean, it becomes... I'm sorry, he's looking at Hellfiring, but he realizes that he doesn't have the life to do it. I would really appreciate him if he just, like, tapped right now. Just an honorable way out. If <laughs> he tapped himself out. Yeah, that's how he would, he would like literally tap out. <laughs> that would have been funny. What? Okay. That's a, con that's a concede play. <laughs> that's a concede play for sure. I was confused. I thought he misclicked for a second. I was like, oh, he's just, he's just DMing. Alright. We got three games to win with Toby Bearded, guys. I think we can do it. I hope so. Yeah, let's, watch let's, him, uh. Watch him cue like, uh. Like, Mally drew it into it, too, or something stupid. I assume, if, if he's, like, smart at all, he plays even luck into this. Theoretically, Mally drew it is only 57% for us. Eh. In practice, it's more than that. Yeah. 
people. This guy's playing uh, an auto wireless from Boom's there day one. I don't think he's gonna be the most godlike Nali Druid player in the world. Okay. He's a reasonable human being. So we're keeping Nourish and we're checking away Roar and Plague. Any complaints? Sounds right. <laughs> Ooh. There's a. Okay. This. This breaks again. Yep. Oh, that guy. <laughs> I feel bad for them. We're actually hacking. Would you like like the three highest win rate cards for your deck here, please? Oh, Hendrix is trying to flex the legend card back on us too. <laughs> he's been he's been flexing it on us. But you don't understand. We're hacking. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. We've accessed the game's mainframe to give us every single card that we want. What are we gonna do if he goes like turn three giant? Cry. Oh my god! I love that we said that at the same time. No, we don't play floop this turn. No, I know we don't play floop. <laughs> How bad would it be to just nourish uh, Arcane Tyrant Bloop and just style on them? Okay, now we try. We're nourishing for crystals, I would I would think, right? I don't see an argument for drawing for three cards. I like crystals, yeah. Okay, and... Hmm. Did we draw out Bloop here? That seems that actually seems pretty reasonable, right? Like we want to fight the giant. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I don't see it getting too much. This matchup sucks, anyways. Like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think the only way we win this matchup is we take early board. Yeah. So I mean, we gotta fight for it. And maybe this will force him to dump a little hand, and then we can get a yeah. passable. Plague. I don't think he will trade, but I would. It would be okay. Yeah, All right. Yeah, no. Oh, okay. No, that's that's a fine situation to trade in. I see that. Okay, yeah. Ranching is or plague is bad. Um, how do we like double draw for cards with ranching traps? I don't, but we might have to. Because we, we want to plague on three or more minions, and he's only got two right now, and one of them's going to insta-kill one of the scarabs, so... Let's draw one, see how that goes. Yeah, we're drawing two. Okay. Uh... Is there any reason that we don't drop a Serenite right now? Um, I don't see it. I'd like to bait out a hellfire from them. They do, they run a mossy, right? Yep. Yes, there's one mossy. Okay. Well, well, I'd love to bait that. I'd, if this serenite eats anything, I'm happy. Yeah, I'd play. Well, I mean, they aren't gonna be able to mossy for two more turns, anyways. Knock. He's got coin. Oh, true. Good call. Actually. Serenite eating two tra uh, two trades is the worst option. Serenite eating a Hellfire or a Mossy is a great option, but two trades is still okay because it gives us a better plague to set up, assuming he extends further onto the board. Yeah. Okay. So he's doing two trades. I'd like to see him invest another minion into this because it should allow us to do something like put Tyrant into the Giant and then get a plague off. Put a couple minions on board. Okay. We're plugging here, right? We got our three minions. Ooh.
How bad of an idea is it to wait one turn to pass this turn, right? See if he extends more, and then we can do Plague Soul next turn. I mean, it, that's like a make or break play. I mean, we're either gonna throw this match or it'll win it for us. Because I mean, because we're gonna eat four. We're gonna eat twelve. We're gonna eat twelve. If we drop plague right now on a on a naked board, he just value trades anyways, right? Like I don't see what, we we don't get any farther ahead by playing plague right now, and we have the life to play around with that a little bit. I think we should do it. Okay. All right. Three hundred IQ underwater back in. I don't even know what that means, but okay. It's like forty chess. But better. Please take the bait and drop another minion. No, he does it right. I mean, he doesn't have any reason to do it. Oh god. He's oh, he's 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 looking at it. It's looking easy. Uh, <laughs> it's so tempting. Yes. yes. Easy, dude. Look at that. <laughs> Wait, how bad of an idea is it to do giggling soul? Yeah, Worse okay. than plague. We're not gonna get an, we're not gonna get another chance for plague. <laughs> okay. Aw, he fell for it too. That's good. And if he defiles, he's just like gonna straight kill his own board. Defile is bad here. What with all the ticks from like the treants and stuff, like Oh. <laughs> Low percentage plays, boys. <laughs> Actually, Defile leaves Giant and Giant alive, Treant at 1. You're so good at Defile now, Steven. That's not a joke, that's actually sick. Like, I I don't know how to calculate that stuff, I don't play even more often. Actually, that's still bad because a Giant would be an 18, he would die to a Treant, so it's still bad. Yeah. And it still leaves a Treant on the board for us, like, I don't... If, you, if you're Defiling, you're Defiling to clear the whole board, not leave Treants up. I just feel the confusion coming from it. <laughs> like, this match is so unfavorable because he hasn't even played a file. Let's just see what we can do. Gonna run out of time. He was doing math. Uh oh. Second plague, question mark. What is he doing? Ran out of time. Okay. Uh, what do we even do here? Do we roar? I think you roar, get rid of the tree ants, and then whispering woods. Okay. Because the, the one benefit that we have going for us right now is that he's not going to defile because defile absolutely screws him. Is there any, um... I think, you, no, wait, actually, I think you roar hero power and giggling inventor. Okay, why? Why is that bad? Because you trade both treants into the twilight, then you finish them off with face. With the hero power. And then you drop a giggling. Drop a giggling, cool. No, we don't. Spend our wisps. And we can still try to get a bigger wisp I'm value, with. I'm value trading with the scarab, right? Yep. And then um, second scarab into the. Um, yep. Taunt or no? Okay. Yep. Yep. Yes. Interesting. We're keeping board. This is good. And then this sets up for a pretty nice savage roar branching paths play. I mean, I don't think there's any way he doesn't clear it, but I mean, assuming he doesn't. And this is also a defile bait right here. I mean, it's actually a pretty good defile, but... I mean, the, the only downside is that the giant has 7 health, but other than that, it's like solid.
He's trying to do the foul math right now, I think. It's not even necessary. If he's trying to do the file math, I don't know why he just did that. He's going to do the same thing regardless. Yeah. Alright. The giant hurts. Yep. That's a good draw. Okay. Um, what do you guys think about... Uh, Branching paths, draw once. Branching paths, armor once. Swipe off the giant. Uh, maybe hero power off. Or er, no, leave the ooze up to get a better plague in case it comes up. I don't know. Yep. I mean, I don't, I don't see another play. Let's draw once. See what we get. Okay, that sucks. Let's. We got an armor here. Bump that up. The question is here: Are we bumping off the ooze? I think, we, I think we are. I think we are. Yeah, I think we are. We can't count on getting one plague out of 15 cards. I don't really see an advantage to, I mean, eating three damage for an extra plague. plague. If we got plague next turn, I would do it, but we can't, so I won't. I think that's a reaver turn. Yep, that's a reaver turn. Okay. Uh... Wild growth into plague. Let's go. <laughs> um, we should make some concede plays around. Which concede play do we want to do? <laughs> I like soul then woods. <laughs> and then and then and then play oops. Okay, soul woods oops and turn concede <laughs> easy. He's got the odd warrior left, and Steven, what else does he got? Uh, odd warrior and... Oh, Maladrid. Maladrid. Alright. What was our percentage for that match? Uh, percentage for Evenlock? Yeah, against Evenlock. Quick token. Nothing, dude. Yeah. Just defile. Our percentage was defile. <laughs> I'd really like to see Odd Warrior here. If we see Odd Warrior, we can close out the game at 3 1. It's 57 against normal Odd Warrior, probably like 62 against It's, it's much higher against this. <laughs> thing sucks. Oh, no, he's playing an alley. That's unfortunate. <laughs> so, the name of the game here is Plague Bait, right? Yep. And then Plague is Plague. Um. How does that look to you guys? That looks like a pretty strong, like, aggressive starting hand, right? Um, yeah, I don't know if we need a Savage Roar. I know, that's why I'm, I'm chucking away the Savage Roar. Um, oh, I didn't hear you say that. Alright. Oh, yeah. Um, and then we just, uh, Wild Growth on turn two, Coin Giggling into Strong Shell, right? And then just start smacking that bit. Mm-hmm. I like it. We've been looking at this wrong. This is not Valley Druid. This is Top Oracle Druid. Is it? Okay. Doesn't change much, but yeah. It still sucks. The code, the code that he gave me said Mallard Druid, but... Uh, well, there's Mallard right. Druid, and there's a Top Oracle, so... <laughs> okay. Uh, Alright. I don't understand what this team is bringing, dude. I, like, none of this logic makes any sense. How greedy is it of us to, um, coin giggling into giggling into a uh, strong shell? Because what's he gonna do against it? He has one starfall, double swipe. Okay. So. And he, no, and he's not gonna use, uh, yeah, he's not gonna use that because he's Tog Wogle. Um, I don't know. That seems kind of good, honestly. I kind of like that. And plus, uh, even if he clears the, the first one, the first one acts as removal bait for the second one. So we guarantee a good strong kill. Yeah, I like it. Seems like a strong kill. See that? Oh, and then we got UI. This is great. Yeah. It turns out this is a tier one deck, guys. <laughs> you sure? 
<laughs> nah. I think it's like low tier two. He's got some good cards, dude. He had the um the good boy, the um Wild Growth first and then the uh the next one. Uh he dropped Tyrant, so I don't think he's going for a flag play, which means we can do another giggle. And hit his face. Oh, you better hope he's not going for a plague play. Although I guess it doesn't matter much. We can yeah, still trade it off. Is, right? We strong shell and it's like who gives a heck. Whoa. That's good for us. He's just trying to draw his whole deck. I want him to draw not on. That'd be sick. Oh there you go, dude. I guess I guess it's definitely a race at this point. Yeah. Against Tog. We can double trade uh, with the Divine Shielded Anoyos, right? Yep. Yeah. Cool. We don't trade off the Tyrant, though, right? We want him to have bad spreading flags. And may force him to make trades into our guy, not trade ourselves. Well, yeah, sounds right. yeah that's fine. The other, other line you could have done is just trade both Anoyos, or the... Both the Gigglings into it. Both Gigglings into it. Spreading flag play, yeah. I think that was actually the right play, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't change much. Yeah. Only reduces one scarab, though, so. Two. Well, yeah, one, actually. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I mean, he throws it into the divine shield, I guess, but that's good for us. If you drop spreading plug next turn. I'm just gonna drop a quick serenade and just keep on hitting him. Like, I don't see too much nuance to this matchup other than flag and just hit him in the face until he dies. Um, trading into the non divine shielded that he's not, he's not playing flag this turn. What? That would have been a better play for him to trade the divine shielded one off. What the heck? Like, Okay. That's a reasonable response. Although, again, he didn't he didn't set up a spell stone, so I don't get why he wouldn't just trade it off with the Divine Shield at all. Oh, okay, there's a spell stone. Do we? Oh. Ooh, that makes things kind of interesting. We have uh, two roars and a path still in the deck. Sorry. Is there a line where we trade the gigglings and get a spreading plate of our plague of our own? Oh dude, absolutely. Let's do that. And then we and then we stall for a turn. Well that is our stalling turn. And then we branching paths our 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 plague. Our plague. Yeah. And then we can UI to get some more. So let's do that. I actually I like that line a lot actually. Scarab, right? We're just doing gigglings into the ones across from them to get the best flight possible. No, well, go both into one. Okay. It doesn't matter because you're not killing one. So yeah, then do yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. You could have. Um. I was gonna have you. Um. Plague before you traded with the with the um, scavenger because then you could have killed one of the other beetle the other guy's beetles. Okay. But that's okay. 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 Just a little sequencing thing. I don't think it should matter. You going down to eleven? We have a really big to pass on. Yeah, to, we have to keep in mind though that we gotta like. Push the pace a little bit. We gotta draw some cards so that his his uh, dog wobble isn't good. W, I should help with that. Yeah, no, for sure. That's the only question is if we're gonna UI uh, this turn or the following turn. He's confused. 
as to what trades to make. Is he gonna do it? No, he can't do a second card. We can. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> um, Serenite paths attack attack. Some reasonable. I think so, Steven. I like that, yeah. Alright, All right, let's make sure that we trade, right? So... Strong Shell into the 1-4. Yep. Samurai. And then... And then you just... Uh, two into double, the double trade and then three, yeah. And kill then, the... Uh, I would kill the Tyrant. I would kill the Tyrant. Okay, because we're already... Cause um, by doing the strong shell trade, we're already uh, saying that we don't care if he has spreading flakes, and we may as well go all in on that and force him to have it. Anything but plague here would be largely okay for us, I think. Honestly, even if he drops a plague, that's okay. So we can UI his school. Yes. Uh, no, because we've got nine next turn. Oh. Okay. Yeah, you're right. He's out of plugs. If he swipes here, that's good for us. So we can plug again. We just plug again because we're we need yep. to be with our nine mana turn anyway. So exactly. And he's playing that we don't have it. And he trades. Okay, that's yes. that's pretty good. Alright. Uh, I don't set up a better. There's nothing that I can do to set up plug and then just drop plug and then. You plug, you plug, and then trade. Yeah. Trade too. Right? And then uh, I'm gonna bump off one of yep. my hero power. Yep. Cool. Oh man, this game is gonna get interesting when he drops Tog. Yeah. He's getting close. We, we haven't been able to put the clock on him too much. We have 18 cards left. We do not need to play our own spreading plug. Both use both of our spreading plugs so we can go as wide as we want at this point. Yep. We will have at least one turn warning. Okay, well, never mind. Uh, we are going to UI the forest, right? For sure. Yeah. Oh, cool, not dying either. Okay. All right, we should. I think we should get Malfur in down just so that we have it going into the fifteen grace. If he drops a big minion, we can spellstone it off with the proc that we get from out here. Leave a hero power in, possibly. Bump off one of the scarabs. If he doesn't present us a better spellstone target, we can full clear his scarabs next turn and develop Malfurion plus uh, possibly two poisonous spiders. Do you think it's time to go poisonous or um, toss? I think it depends on his play. What? I think if he goes Tog here, then we go Spiders, but um, there are cases for Scarabs. Okay. I think we should have Tog with so many cards in both decks. Yeah, that's, that's, that'd be weird. Hmm, naturalized. He's, he's not gonna burn anything like. Joke's on you, we already have both you eyes. <laughs> and Malfurion. <laughs> well, he doesn't know that, but. What is this? What is he doing? 
Wait, oh. you play Forest with oh, my Golem in hand. Wait, so that means that. Wait, that means that Azalina doesn't. That means he can't get a, a copy of the ransom, dude. Yeah, what the heck? Wait, I think they just threw. <laughs> Wait, I don't know. We have to play it right, though. We still have to play it right, but. Yeah, we gotta play it right. Okay, so we're doing we're doing scarabs right now, right? We're on we're on a frost to to keep our life total up. Right, we're doing uh, taunts. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're doing taunts. Um, he has our hand now, so we need to limit the number of minions that he has. I say we um. I think he's. I think he's spellstone. The no. I think he's. We're still starting the th the three six, right? Yep. I think so. Okay, cool. Yeah. And then bump off a taunt. Okay. So he's wasted his like infinite win condition. And he's just a. We we have the same number of cards, and he's just a bad token druid now. We gotta play around that a little bit. I don't really. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Wait, this actually gets so confusing. Okay, this is yeah, this is gonna get really weird because we now have to assume that he has he has everything that we have. He has a UI, a fluke, a whispering woods, door paths, nourish, serenite, and Melfury and spellstone. Oh yeah, Melfury and spellstone. Does he have two Malfurians? You wrote it down, Stephen. Yeah. Thank you. Steven. All right. Awesome. What is this? What is this game, dude? Alright. Strong shell scavenger looking like our looking like our win condition right now. Right? Something like a Serenite one turn and then fluke into um Strong Shell the next. Okay, he doesn't have swipe in hand. Uh how do you feel about going uh, Whispering Woods, Soul of a Forest, Armor Up? Possible? First right now is 29, so I think that's fine. Okay, and then uh, uh, with Armor Up, that'll put us um, to 10 if he decides to go with the first one. What is he doing with that naturalized thing, dude? I still I don't understand the logic behind it. Like if he just holds off and Azalina's himself, he wins. Theoretically. And he can't UI because it'll fatigue. Um, Wait, so what did that what did the florist hit? I don't know. The florist uh florist did Azalina. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Oh, okay. So he's gonna have an eight mana Togwoggle, <laughs> and we're just gonna switch back, and we can we can switch back and then Tyrant, dude. We can switch. Well, Serenite Chain Gang Tyrant. We can also take it to Fatigue. Yeah, yeah, we can. <laughs> this game is gonna get so weird. We still have cards left. We could nourish to draw. Switch back, Tyrant. No, I think, well, I think we do that, but we UI. I don't think we nourish. Right? Or we can't UI and switch back on the same turn. Oh, good point. Good call, actually. Okay, that's a reasonable. Uh, he's just going in, he's going for it. Okay. So, we're gonna have to, um, Savage Roach to trade. Yep. Which this, we can full clear him easily, it's not too much of an issue. Oh, uh, that's a mis- he should have traded the spiders into- the wisps. Yeah. Ooh, wisps. Ooh. That's real good. Um, how do you feel about doing something like a swipe, branching paths for armor, and then branching paths for attack? You get good trades off? Because that sets everything to two if we swipe. Yep. Okay, so, um, swipe on the 3-4. Three, three, four. Four. Yep. Everything to two, branching paths for armor, branching paths for one attack, easy trades the whole can't trade yep. back because he has no um, swipe of like I like it. That's a good spot. That's a good play. Oh, then we get value trades all day, and we keep the board. 
I also like hero power down a spider to save an extra wisp. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> it's just a slightly worse so I can do. <laughs> we still have roar if he doesn't clear this. There is potentially a starfall. <laughs> yeah, starfall exists, but we don't know if he just as deleted it away at this point. Like there was what like four or five cards that he just threw away. Like that could have been Malfurion. That could have been Starfall. That could have been a uh, second swipe. That could have been anything. So I have to question the plays he makes now because. If we have like four minions survive next turn, we're roaring his ass. Okay. The plays. Okay. That's reasonable. Um, how do you feel about trading off, uh, Savage Roar, trade off to, uh, Treants into the Serenite, and then, um, drop our own Serenite to protect against first? And then face with everything else? Or do we just, or can we, do we, can we afford to value the other two Treants? No idea. Okay, so... Is here, a tough here, turn? Yeah, I, I, I think I can do this. We can, so okay. we're gonna roar for sure. Um, we don't have board space to drop the two Serenites, um, as they are. And we need to, we need to get through his Serenites, so we're gonna trade off these two yep. first. Uh, this gives us board space to play these Serenites and sets up our floop in case we draw a Strong Shell Scavenger. Um, I think we need to start armoring up. I, I that needs need to be a priority, because it's gonna and... go fatigue, and I don't think he's gonna play Tog at all. Okay. Then he has a roar left. So we're armoring up. Uh, let's let's trade into these two. Um, yes, two I agree. And then force him to uh, punch through the Serenites. And you, and remember, you still have the attack on the hero. Yep, I know. I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. bump off another way. Right? I agree. I just yes. have two to two on the Serenites, the Wisps. Yep. If he wants to good. if he wants to play fatigue, we're that's fine. We're ahead on yep. armor. We're ahead on cards. Oh, actually, we're uh, he, one he card behind on. Left. That could screw us over. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Starfall's reasonable. That's actually fine for us. Uh, Starfall swipe, possibly. What? Interesting. <laughs> okay. Don't know how I feel about that play. We don't play UI here, right? No, I no, think you- ever. I think you play Serenite. I think you play Floop. Um... Floop Tyrant? How about that? Yeah, I think so. Alright, we can set, set up for, uh, Lethal with Rook. And then, if he manages to not kill one Serenite, then we can Strong Shell Scavenger because we don't have any better targets anyways at this point. Like, those two taunts are our last two taunts in our deck. Yeah, what else do we have in our deck? What are our last two uh, cards? One Wild Growth, one Soul, one Strong Shell Scavenger. So, um, if we get Strong Shell Scavenger next turn, we are, we're, we're dropping it regardless of what happens. Yep. Uh, we should also keep in mind that... Uh, okay, so Strong Shell Scavenger doesn't do anything now. Uh, what? Regardless of fatigue ticks, uh, we can use UI 5 burst should we need it. Yeah, we should wait for the last. Yeah. Dude, get some real math going. He sh I think he should have hit there. That would have been optimal, I think. Uh, are we hero powering his face? Right? We're going for attack here. Um, You might. I think you Savage Roar this turn. Okay, set up a two turn lethal. Yeah, I think you Savage Roar. I think you drop the Scavenger, you yeah, Hero scavenger, Power for damage. Savage, or hero Power. For damage, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Okay, and... So, Fatigue Ticks will deal... 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 to us. 10. Ten, great. So, whoa. That's okay. from his deck. That's not from. Yeah. Yeah. 
What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> okay, um, we soul here, yeah? Yeah, soul. Soul, um... Hero power need, for... Oh, hero god, power I don't for know. attack, right? We need to continue on the kill point. I mean, yes. I think it... Yeah. Right? I don't think yeah. it matters either way. Okay. I think it does the same effect either way. Yeah. Uh, what the heck, dude? What is he gonna kill us with? Either like what like how the second tree that like, comes out from the soul. <laughs> Actually I think we I think we need to armor up. Okay. I think that was a misplay because if he His only way out right here is if we tie. Yeah. Because okay, so we, we need to armor up so that UI doesn't kill us. Alright, so... Okay, are we UIing him? Or his UI, you're saying? No, well, our UI. Okay. I don't think he has a UI. He does from Azelina. Oh, you're right. Okay. okay. Does UI kill... UI kills him if he uses it. Okay, so we're at Because let's see, that's 7, 1 plus 8. 2 plus okay. 3 plus 4. Yeah, that's death. So we can't kill him... With fatigue this turn with the uh treant ui fatigue that doesn't work so we're gonna armor up this turn yeah okay, we're, so we're, we're gonna just armor up armor up and, and take the damage just armor up and hit yeah okay and if, if he hits it he goes down to the point where ui kills him regardless <laughs> well i mean he has to ui this turn if but it won't dead. no if because he he'll gain five armor He'll be alive yeah. by three, uh, two health. He'll have two he health. Okay. He UI here. Yeah, but it, oh yes, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. If he casts UI, we end turn. Right? Yeah. If he UIs, he's dead. Now our UI will deal. No, we win. We win. It's over. One plus two plus or two, three, four, five. A six plus five is eleven. We can win this. Let's do it. We're good. GG boys. GG. That's how we do. Easy three. One and oh, let's go, dude. All right. All right, let me message this guy, see if we need to do anything. Oh, else yes. Work, so we can submit that. <laughs> dude, that was a weird game. That was okay. a very weird game. All right, let me hit him with the GGs. Where's he at? Alright. Gotta figure out how to submit results now. Alright, I'm ending stream. Alright, sounds good. Let me know when we're not live.